Hello everybody, welcome back if you are here once again or hello if you're here for the first time. Please do hit that subscribe button before you move on to the video. Today I'm in just one of those moods where I am filming reels, I'm filming stories. I've already shot this like twice and I just don't want to take it off absolutely in love with this jumpsuit and it inspired me for today's video i figured i would film a video all about styling and wearing all black outfits and accessorizing them up just so they just feel a little bit more exciting as you guys might know if you've been here a while i don't shy away from color i love neutrals like i love white i love black i love camels you know that kind of <laughs> i love camels <laughs> You know, those neutral shades, camel, tan, white, black, love. But I also love pops of colour. But there are those days when I just want to wear all black everything. Because let's be honest, it does look hella chic when you do it right. And it's very flattering on pretty much everybody. But I do think that... In a lot of cases, it's an easy option. It's so simple to throw on a black top and a black pair of trousers and then forget about those little accessories and touches that just makes it a little bit more elevated. And so I feel like this topic is quite an important one in the fashion realms as it might just help a little bit. If you are just feeling a little bit lackluster and you're going for the same black jumper and black jeans every single day, this just might give you a few more tips as to how to dress up your all black looks. Do you know what? I'm also going to give a little quick shout out here to Sally Faye, who's written the best book called All Black Everything. It is the most beautiful black coffee table book and inside it is literally how to style black outfits. It's one of my favourite books. I have it out as a coffee table book. I just want to give it a little shout out because she self-published it, I think, and it is stunning. So again, also inspired by Sally Faye. So let's make a start and let's kick off with this jumpsuit to start with. A jumpsuit is one of my favourite things to have in my closet. It's that super quick throw on outfit that most likely is going to flatter you because the chances are you've bought it so it is flattering. So it doesn't need much extra adding to it. Today I have just worn mine with one button undone because I quite frankly have the prettiest bra on underneath. Little sneaky peek. It is so pretty. And also I just like to accentuate the kind of decolletage area anyway and elongate this v-neck. I mean it's perfectly lovely like this but I just always like to add a touch more shape you do you. I'm gonna move this big boy out of the way. Now then, let's start with shoes because I think shoes are quite often overlooked and I've said it before but shoes make an outfit. You could be wearing a bin bag with a pair of incredible stilettos and you will look the shiz as far as I'm concerned. Just don't underestimate the power of your shoes. If I was wanting to wear this jumpsuit for a more exciting evening occasion, I'd most likely go for black again, to stick with your favourite colour, but a slick pointed toe and a little bit of something, something glam. I'm so in love with these shoes. I've worn them a lot in like reels and different styling videos, but it's because they're such a great piece. They're just a really flattering shape for anybody. So these are going to add a little bit of height and it'll change your posture entirely in this jumpsuit. Oh, so amazing. This just now looks a little bit more evening wear appropriate. It feels like a little bit more effort has been made. I mean, this is meant to be a relaxed fit jumpsuit, so you can wear it casually, or I mean, you could wear it in any way you want. And therefore, you can add some heels and make it evening wear. So, I'm gonna continue accessorizing. So like in the reel I just filmed, I'll literally just film this for a reel. I added this belt, because I think this works super well. It's a really tight fitting waist belt that'll just cinch that little waistband in, pull it all together a little touch. So what I'm saying here really is, if you're gonna be wearing all black, could you style it with a belt? Could you cinch it in at the waist? Could you add a little bit of extra to make a more flattering silhouette on you? A little bit of something that draws someone's eye. You know, if you're wearing all black, there's nothing to technically look at. Why not throw on something that just sparkles in the middle? Then we have this area, all bare. Therefore, I'm gonna go chunky my beloved necklace that I am obsessed with. 
big chunky necklace. I mean, you can also go a little bit less chunky. I'm just going a bit extra just to show you what you can do, just to add even more accessories. So we've got a belt, we've got a necklace. I do also have some nice big hoops in here. And I mean, I've got a bit of a mix here as well of shades. I've got the gold and gold, and I've got the silver on the heels. So I kind of wish the silver on the heels was gold. Also, this is so part of the process. Sometimes I'll put something on and then I'll really be feeling a necklace or a belt one day and I'll be like, no, the tones aren't working and I'll change the shoes or I'll change the belt. Today, I'm really liking, sorry, let me just take this off. Today, I'm really liking the belt, the necklace. So I'm gonna opt for a slightly different pair of heels. Okay, easy pair of black heels because I'm sticking with black of course. The accessories I feel is where you can go a bit more brash because I'm trying to keep this a bit more realistic. As much as I would love to put a pair of like bright yellow heels with this black jumpsuit, I realise that's not for everyone. I'm trying to keep the main outfit black and then kind of show it to accessorise it and accentuate it. Okay I'm loving this now. I hope you can see. So black heels, gorgeous black fitted jumpsuit and little accentuations of the gold and the buttons in the belt and through into the necklace. So this now is looking super chic. So bags, I might go for this little cutie because it feels quite evening appropriate. Mini bags as well are such a massive thing right now. I've mentioned it a number of times, but if you are looking for a new bag and you've already got a number of like bigger shopper bags or totes, have a little peek at the kind of smaller bag category because there are so many like beautiful Jacquemus. This is Dior, Chanel as well do lots of minis. Bulgari do minis. I mean, most brands do little mini bags. So, you know, you can accessorize up in that way. And that's it, the full look. So here I've taken this really relaxed fit jumpsuit that could have just been worn alone. It still would look fabulous, but it's just nice to give it a little pizzazz. Um, and this is, this is how I style it up. All black everything outfit number two. This is a simple black tee and black jeans look. Often one that I like to opt for, actually no, I tell like I often will go for a white tee and black jeans. I love white with black. However, the black tee and black jean is such a easy throw on look that can look so super duper stylish. Again, if you just style it up a little bit more elevated. First up, I've just gotten dressed here. I've thrown on the t-shirt over the top of the jeans and the whole look is just very simple. There's no styling involved, it's just getting dressed. So first of all, I'd always say to tuck your pieces in to show off your figure, show off your curves, show off your shape, the way that you feel most flattered. And that also then gives us a chance to accessorize with belts and things. But straight away that already looks a lot more flattering. Secondly, I could have just gone with a standard cotton black jean here. However, I instead have gone for this more wet look, leather look style of jean. I hope you can see that the way it's shining in the light. But this, again, just adds a little extra than the standard black jean. I'm sure we all have a standard black jean in our wardrobes. I'm just saying that next time you look at some black jeans, why not go for something with a slightly different texture or finish on them, just to give you a slight um, alternative for next time you are getting styled up really. Similarly, if you are someone who does just like to wear black, black teeth, black jumpers, why not look for one that does have some little details on there, just to break up the colour a little bit. This, again, as most of my wardrobe is, is, is Holland Cooper, and they always have little details like their bespoke buttons on there. But again, it just adds extra. It's just something to look at. It's some, ooh, ghost. <laughs> Let me close this. It's just something to look at, it's an extra design detail and it'll just add something else to your outfit. Same with the jean, lots of little bits of gold going on here to break up the block colour. Now then, let's find a waist belt. Okay, waist belt of choice, sticking with the gold hardware so it matches with the top and the jeans, but this is going to add, again it's a neutral so it's nothing too scary at least, but it will break up the all black. I've also gone with this particular belt because it's a slight bit wider and because I have two buttons here to contend with. A thinner belt would show the two buttons in the middle. So I almost need to hide that with this belt or just about hide it so that it becomes about the belt buckle. And again, this is helping to accentuate the waist. Let's move on to shoes now. 
It all depends on what you're doing. Let's keep this one a bit more casual than the last one. Now I know earlier I said that I wanted to keep the whole kind of look black, however, seeing as I've gone for a black top and black jeans here, I feel that you should allow me to at least add a touch more colour in here. So I thought to kind of match the tones of the belt, but also the gold, I'm gonna wear a pair of sandals. The fact that these come up around the ankle, which will line up with the edge of the jean, will work quite harmoniously. I love these sandals, I love them. I've been waiting for these to come out for so long after seeing them on the runway and then finally they're here. I would definitely recommend going up a half size though, if you are thinking of buying these. A half size would have been great, but still fit fine. So we're keeping it cash overall. We've included now a day wear pair of shoes, especially for the spring summer, seeing as that's the season we're technically meant to be in. Thank you, UK weather. But I'm pretty sure soon enough I'll be in my sandals all the time. So these work super well, kind of matching with the tones of the belt. I'll try and find some dupes for these as well. I'm sure that the high street have made something similar to this for you if you don't want to buy a luxury version. I'm loving this so far. Now let's just add a touch more shape. So in keeping with all black everything, and I'm gonna go with a blazer. Again in black, seeing as that's the video. But what's so great about this blazer is that it is super oversized, it's quite trendy, it's quite cool. Again, I'll try and leave some blazer options because I'm sure I'll be able to find a really cool high street option for you that is very oversized and this kind of style. Don't be afraid to add your own shape into your clothing as well. And I must admit, something that sometimes I forget to do myself when I'm wearing something new for the first time, I forget to almost play with that piece myself, whether that's rolling up the sleeves, pushing up the sleeves, undoing some of the buttons, tying the belt of that piece in a different way, cropping the ankles, changing up the way you have the collar, you know, just kind of wear it the way that you want to. So this blazer now, because we've got a really sleek silhouette with the black tee tucked into the really skinny jeans, we've got some slightly lighter accents in here, the black blazer just makes it look uber chic. I really love this look actually. Mm. Now with this, because we do have the gold here and the blazer so the size, I'm gonna go for a more simple necklace. Just something really delicate and dainty. I'll leave this one linked down below. I'm pretty sure this one is Edge of Ember. Cool, and then for the bag. Right guys, check this out. <laughs> This got dropped off today. If you're brand new to my channel, just as like a backstory, I am very proud to be a Bulgari Accessories Ambassador. The first and only in the UK, which is amazing. And so I get some little wonderful perks like seeing the newest bags. So they've just dropped this off today. This is their new like raffia summer bag. Check out that detailing. This is amazing. This is summer in a bag. But what's so cool about it is that it's on a base of black, but then you've got this exciting pop of summer straw light bags in a bulgari version. This comes with a little top handle, but it also comes with, not pull all the insides out to do this, comes with a crossbody. Stays kind of in keeping with everything else in the look, but it feels summery and fun and it's just a little extra colour on top of your usual kind of black bag. Oh my gosh, do you know what I'm missing? Do you know what I'm missing? Sunnies. And I'm gonna go super big with a pair of big black sunnies like this. So with that, I could have either gone black tee, black jeans, black pair of trainers. Absolutely fine, but if, you just, if you're just if you here for style advice and you wanna kind of style things up a little bit, this is what I would suggest, and this is what I would wear if I was styling up that all black outfit. Next up, the little black dress. Actually, this is actually more midi. Let me show you. This is a midi black dress, sleeveless tank style, and it's in a really lovely jersey. Let me pull up my thong for that silhouette. It's a really good point, actually. Be careful of what undies you're wearing. If you are wearing a form-fitting dress, just be careful of anything showing. So quite often, it's better just to hook your knickers over your hip bones so it rests in that crease of your hips so you don't get any VPLs around here. I say that and yeah, I don't want to take off my bra because I love it, but it's so super lacy that it's just like a bit bobbly underneath. Never mind. 
So I actually love this dress. It's such a flattering, figure-hugging piece. And it can does all the work for you, this one. But it is nicest to add a little extra pizzazz. Do you know, I'm straight away, I'm like, I want to put these back on with it, style it up with a, like a silver bag to go with it and throw on a cropped blazer. But I'm not gonna. I style a lot of things with heels and I know a lot of you don't want to wear heels all the time. So I want to keep this a bit more realistic. Bear with me guys, bear with me. Yellow. <laughs> I'm seeing the black as like the base of the outfit. I'm saying that instead of adding a black coat or a black jacket, this is where you can add a pop of colour. And I think that this particular jumper is just fabulous, this cardigan. Um, especially for cooler days. It just works so beautifully with black. I really love these two together actually. The reason why this particular cardigan works so well is because this dress is so figure hugging. If this was looser, this cardigan wouldn't work. You need to kind of have something fitted with something a little bit more oversized, often to make the silhouette work. But what I do now is that I would accentuate the figure, again, by using a belt. Cute little easy waist belt, just to pull that back into a shape. Sorry, I have to look. I'm trying to look in the mirror as I talk to you. Just ruches that cardigan up a little bit, but pulls it back in at the waist so you can still retain that figure hugging dress shape. So I really like the way it kind of ruches up and pulls in over the black. Now, just to keep this a little bit more black before you're all like, this isn't all black. I'm gonna go with one of my favorite black bags, keeping with a gold theme because of the yellow. I feel like the gold will work better. So cute little bag with some texture will add to this very plain black look. The texture of the quilting will just add a little extra. Now, shoes, you've got a couple of options here. My fashion goddess girl boss wants to wear these. <laughs> black ankle high boots that will just sit beneath the dress. But equally, these would look so awesome. So I'm gonna go for the combat boot. Where are my socks? Purple socks, why not? No one on there, apart from you guys. Chunky combat boot, just to add a bit of a juxtaposition and contrast with our very feminine look. No, you know what guys, I've just tried it on and it's cutting me off at a part of my ankle that isn't the most flattering shape for me, so we're gonna go again. Okay, this is gonna be better. Taller calf length boot. Doesn't necessarily need to be heel, this is quite a small heel. Those ones I showed you earlier were a much higher heel. These are a little bit lower, but they will still give you a nice flattering shape. They'll definitely make me feel a lot nicer. All black. Everything is back on point again, apart from the yellow. Hopefully you've seen me pull it back. Oh, my back. Oh gosh, I love this look. Okay. Um, what I like about wearing boots with dresses, I don't like seeing the skin in between the two. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. And that's what happened with the combat boots, and that they had too much of a gap in between, and it accentuated a wider part of my ankle so the proportions were off whereas this stays lovely and slick from the boots um, up into the leg and then into the shape of the dress at the bottom so it feels a lot more flattering and pulled in but it still allows you to wear your all black outfit equally if you hate the yellow just go for white or a tan or even a black cardi but it's the cinching and the pulling in that'll just elevate it a little bit Okay guys, that's where I'm gonna leave this video. I was about to film another look because I feel like I could get really carried away with this. However, I thought I'd put the question out to you guys. If you'd like to see a part two and potentially three more black outfits, let me know. There's definitely more that I could do with this. Uh, make it more of a little styling series because um, I've really enjoyed this actually today. It's quite nice challenging myself and. Like I was literally here being like, what shall I put with that? What would I put with that? So challenges me too, but hopefully it's somewhat useful. Maybe it sparks a little idea of like, I could wear that in my closet. I've not thought about wearing that for a while. So let me know if you enjoyed it. Do give the video a like. 
it feels so five years ago saying give it a like but it does help if you got this far leave me the black heart emoji do you want to see a part two let me know in the comments if there's something else you want to see whether it because i know that a few weeks ago i did a styling shirts video which i'll leave linked up on the screen for you if you've not seen that and i mean in the past i've done loads of things like styling different colors styling suits styling blazers but it's been quite a while so if there's something you want to see in particular let me know i am all ears thanks again everyone for being here don't forget to subscribe before you leave give the video a like and I'll see you soon. Bye.